All right, so we're going to look back at what we talked about in the last video, which was all of our decimals. So this should hopefully look familiar. We had 1 and 234 thousandths. Well, now we're going to be going the other direction. And you don't mm -hmm. need to write this part in yet because we're going to have a nice, neater one for you to see on the next slide. But we are going now to the left. So we've got our 1s, then our 10s, then our 100s place. And this is all should sound familiar. Then our thousands, ten thousands, <clears throat> hundred thousands, all the way up to millions, which is as high as you need to know for fifth grade. So, place value, place value, place value line. Moving to the left, you'll know them every time. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions. This is the part that you're going to want to write down this little sketch here. And we are going to talk about how to actually say numbers that are this large. So, for example, if I have this humongous number, how am I going to say it? And what I like to think about is if you look at these commas here, see how it breaks it up into nice little chunks? Mm -hmm. it makes it. That's how I think about reading them. So my first one, I always start with farthest left, is 8. So I look at that, it's an 8 million, so it's 8 million. And my next chunk in between the commas is I would say this 765 only I have to say 765,000 so 8 million 765,000 and then my last chunk between the commas I just say 432 so when mm. I would say that out loud I would say 8 million 765,000 432 okay so this is the part where you're going to be writing down the extended version the sentences if you will um, you don't have to write this one down, but there's going to be a few coming up that you will. All right, so if we look at some examples, our first one is um, how would I say this big old number here? So we're going to write it in up here so you can sort of see how we would say it in chunks. And as Mrs. Van Dam writes in her glorious <laughs> handwriting, I'm going to read through them. So we've got our first chunk, if I look again at the columns, the 9 is in the millions by some 9 million. Now I look at the next part that's sandwiched between those commas. We've got 86. There's a zero there. It's 86. So 86 thousands. That's how I would say that. So 9,086,355. So when it's all said and done, you're looking at this big thing. And don't let the zero throw you. Just think about how am I going to read this part. I would just read it as the number 86. So 86 thousands. So if I am saying this out loud... I would say 9,086,355. Okay? Mm -hmm. So let's try another one. Ready? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you want to try yes. and write again? Oh, sure. All right, so again, when you're writing this in, it, there are no millions there. Mm -hmm. So we're just That's looking really. at a smaller number. So it, again, you're looking at the commas to sort of tell you where you need to place them. So if I have a 1 and a 0, I just say that as 10, right? So 10,864. So it's as simple as that when you're going to say it. So if you don't need to, if you can see that without rewriting it all up here, then that's fine. But we wanted to give you some examples of how mm -hmm. if you're stuck, this is something, a tool you can use. So if I was going to say that out loud, I would say 10,864. We are going to be, and if you need to write them in up here, go for it. If you don't, then just write out the actual words, the number words that you would use. So how would you say this out loud? So you're going to have three of those. Pause it, write those down, and then come back, and we'll move on to the next part. Now we're going to think about writing these numbers. <clears throat> so we're flip-flopping. So now if I hear 2 million... 712,851, I would want to write that out and once again thinking of those chunks again mm -hmm. in those commas. So I would have 2 and then 712,000, so that's going to be in my next chunk of three numbers there, and then 851. Yeah, very nice. You're a lot neater than I am. So proud of it. <laughs> and one thing I just wanted to point out, I just thought of this, but you might have noticed that we didn't say the word and because we're mm. going to save and for 
our friend the decimal. Mm -hmm. So here I'm reading and it says 297,000. So I don't hear millions, so we don't have to go there, but now I'm going to look at my next chunk, 297. So I'm going to put in that. And it said thousands, so I know so, where my 97 needs to end yes. is in the thousands. And now we have all these other place values, but we don't have numbers there. So we just need to put our zeros as I can't just I can't just leave it like that? No. Must add the zeros. That would just be 297. Yeah. And we need to show our placeholders there. Yep. So, so if you have a decimal here and you've got some empty spaces, you have to fill them with zeros. Now anything that comes to the left of it, if it's empty, you don't need to put a zero no. for those. Just the ones that are sort of sandwiched in between. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, one more example just to look at then. And this time we do have a million. Mm -hmm. Four million. So we're going to put that in. Now we have 634,000, so that's going to be in my next little chunk of numbers. And this time I hear, or I see 75. And once again, I want to think to myself, okay, I just have 75. I don't have anything in the hundreds. So I want to make sure to put a zero there so I can end up in my ones. I want to show you what it will look like if you don't. If you just look at the 75 and put it here and then filled in a zero, how would you read that? 750. Right, and that's not what it says. So you've got to really make sure that when you write those that you write them in the right place. So pay very close attention to where the 75, if it's 75, the 5 would have to end in that 1's place mm -hmm. and then you fill it in with that 0. Yes. All right. Beautiful. Now you get to try some again. So you're going to read these carefully and this time you just have to write the numbers. Mm -hmm. If it helps you to use um, a chart like we have up here, you can do that, or you can just write them down too. That's perfectly fine. Do you want to read them out loud so that those oh, we'll be audio nice. people yes. can? Yes. So 463,082. So thinking about if we need tricky to one. skip Be careful with that yes. one. And the next one is 9,423,011. Hmm. All right, so go ahead and try that. All right, this is going to look familiar to you. We're just going to talk about these four different ways to write out numbers again. This mm -hmm. time we're just dealing with whole numbers, no decimals. Right. So, jot Standard form, word form, expanded notation, expanded notation with powers of 10 in your notebook again, along with these examples again. Yep. So we have 3,536, and word form, it should look like this. A little shorter since we're Except not doing it. You with should have a hyphen there. Oh. I forgot it. So don't look at your hyphen. <laughs> and then for expanded notation, we're just breaking it up. So we have our 3,000 plus 500 plus 30 plus 6. And then for expanded notation powers of 10, like you did with the ones with the decimals last time, same thing, only this is actually easier because we don't mm -hmm. have to worry about the decimals. So again, we're pulling out our powers of 10. So our 3,000 becomes 3 times 1,000. Again, remember those parentheses are pretty important. Plus 5 times 100 because 500. And if you notice that, if I were to solve this 5 times 100, I'd get 500. So all I'm doing is just simply expanding it. And then 30 becomes 3 times 10, and again the 6 is in the 1 column, so I can just leave it be. So my expanded notation powers of 10 should look like this. So now Ooh. I gave you the standard form. You mm. need to try and find the word form. Expanded notation, expanded notation powers of 10, and please label which one is which, because you're going to need to know that. Yes. Uh, on your mark, ready, set, let's go. Dance for pro, I know, you know, I go psycho when my new joint hit. Just can't sit, gotta get jiggy with it, Ooh, that's it.